Sergeant Key and I here reporting this for duty. Today we're bringing a new game to the channel called Intelligent Design, an evolutionary sandbox. Intelligent Design, an evolutionary sandbox is an abstract god game with fully simulated genetics and evolution. In a universe driven by targets, create and design and try to control an evolving ecosystem for a faceless corporation. So uh, there's very little talked about this game, but essentially um, there you have a species that's constantly evolving and it's all kind of different in, e in each area. So it's kind of you know we'll see how it comes. I think it's a, it's a, I think there was uh, some pretty good uh, like not that was any colony well maybe colony management going on and obviously uh, you know strategy and things like that. So uh, we're just gonna start off in the first area. There's three different areas we can choose from. I'm gonna go to 284 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and create a new game. And you know, all right, it's controls it. We got all that. On your well, some of that. An ecosystem engineer. Today's orientation will lay the foundations for a productive career. You are controlling a drone on mm -hmm. P5629 mm -hmm. via satellite link. Yes. For increased employee satisfaction, we allow you to use a controller or keyboard to operate a drone. Horizontal motion is controlled using the left stick or WASD. Yes, as usual. The force field? Vertical motion is controlled using the right and left triggers on the controller or left shift and left control on the keyboard. This is the first time the drone has been operated in 36 years. Take 36 slow. years? That's all. I was just thinking even functional anymore. <laughs> Resources will be transported to P5629 using point to point wormhole technology. The crosshair indicates if a wormhole can be established. Green means you are within range of a radar, and red means you are not. Control the camera using the mouse or right stick. Yep, yep, you know, pretty, you know, self-explanatory so far. Uh, let's see, you know, hopefully get some more stuff here soon. Requested using the heads-up display user interface. Navigate the menu using the number keys and mouse wheel, or the directional pad on the controller. Okay, Create All a right. species of plants by selecting the button and pushing spacebar or pushing the A button on the controller. Hold C to navigate the menus using the mouse cursor. Alright, oh, okay. I like that, alright, so that's cool, because I like the, the different ways of being able to target. So, uh, I guess that's the end of the tutorial, so what we have to do here is create a species of plants Grow 10 wild plants and build a research station. So we're going to go, you know, obviously a uh, random plant. And I think it said space bar to put it down. And it creates a wormhole and then it will move whatever plant down to there. And I'm assuming... We have found that productivity is increased by 23.7% when employees have clear targets. In the bottom right of the heads-up display, you can see three performance targets you are required to meet. These have been designed to assist you in designing an effective ecosystem on P5629. Alright, so yeah, we have the the goals down on the, the bottom uh, right of the screen. Is it the plants Biomass that I did? From plants in the environment on P5629 can be processed and used to fabricate buildings and building upgrades. Request a collector to start collecting biomass. The range of the collector will be indicated on your heads-up display. It will harvest biomass for plants within this range. Um, so probably collector, you know, it says, uh, so it said that it's within range. This is the range that it would harvest the biomass from these plants. Oh, I need space bar. I keep I keep clicking, thinking that's gonna do it, but no, I need to space bar it up. All right, so we got a collector going on. Uh, you know that's hopefully gaining yep, it's gaining biomass from that. That's great. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some more random plants here. Seems like a really good idea. You know, more plants means you know more things going on. We have ten wild plants right now, so hopefully you know we get some. Some more going on here pretty soon. Is that? Oh, okay. So it spawned it, and then these little seeds are like falling down. All right. 
Uh, research a, th a thousand or a thousand plant signs. So we did the build a research station. So, but we're still quite a bit away from that. We just barely put this thing down. So it's probably going to be quite some time before that's even really a thing that we're able to do at all. Um, do these grow any bigger? I mean, it seems like. I mean, this is uh, you know. I don't know how what this thing is, but you know they're growing. I guess I guess they are kind of bigger than the rest. These just went down, and they're pretty small. But uh, biomass. Let's see. What about systems? So this is a skip tutorial, quick load save. All right. So ba pretty much basic stuff. But we want to get that research station down. So I mean, I, I well another collector would be expensive actually. All right. If I were to do another collector, so this one. Ooh, it kind of was a bad spot to put that. All that stuff's outside the range. Um, well, I guess then we should try to properly, if I, if I do it there, because uh, I want it to fall into the same area. If it falls into the same area, then, you know, that would be the best. There we go. That's that's what I wanted it to happen. The falls right down in, like, the range of where it's supposed to be. You know, the best. Do that, like, one more time. Hopefully it falls in the range again. Not lots of plants. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. You know, inside the range. Perfect. How's the collector doing? Yeah, lots more stuff going on now. All right, so research station's getting pretty close here. So do we want to put this anywhere? Or does it have to be within, like, plant science range? What the heck is that? Like a cactus growing? Um... A key mission of our organization is to understand the genetic code of the organisms we are instantiating. Building research stations allows us to achieve this goal. Research stations will research organisms within their range. Within their range, okay. So probably the best place to put it put it would be right here where it's surrounded by like a billion jillion. To incentivize research, we award engineers with biomass from central reserves. At the same time, the price of subsequent builds will increase. We are currently deploying ecosystems on over a hundred worlds. That's a lot. The price increase is a measure put in place to relieve pressure from our production lines. You can monitor research by enabling the science panel on the heads-up display. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't quite understand all of that one, but... You know, this should be working. It's doing its thing, so it gets plus 20 plant science per second. That sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> Let's just start, like, throwing a crazy amount of plants right here. I, I really feel like there's no reason not to just throw them down everywhere. Just just everywhere, you know, just make the plant science go crazy. Wait, so I've already... Is that already a thousand? Oh, that's upgrading. Um, where does it say our actual plant science, like, where does that show? System... I mean, like, we have the research station, and that's getting point eighteen. That's still pretty dang bad. To be honest, if I wanted to upgrade, it's biomass that I would need. World efficiency. Search a thousand plant science. See, I want to know where... The oh. effectiveness of research stations can be increased by upgrading them. Point the crosshair at a research station and select the button which appears. We also find that more valuable research is produced as your organisms advance through their generations. The current generation of plants, herbivores, and carnivores are displayed in the top right of the heads-up display. So I wonder if we should throw down some some herbivores, you know? Because all we have right now are, well, we got a very tall plant right here. This thing's fucking huge. Like, holy shit. Uh, that thing's big. Um, I mean, I guess we could upgrade it. Right? We'd have to C, well, put C and then upgrade. And it'll get bigger. Pretty big. Um... What's it now? Like, what's its uh, a thing majig now? It is 0.9 per second, so we're still not getting a whole lot of, of stuff from that. I'm gonna now if I throw down herbivores, they're gonna start eating the plants, and that's I kind of don't want them to do that. You know, uh, we're still kind of like uh, figuring this game out. Uh, the developers, when they was I was reading um, one of the posts they made on Reddit, said that the they well, they wanted to leave the game like quite a mystery. Like, a uh, pretty big mystery where you're kind of just kind of figuring everything out. Oh, look, this stuff has different colors over here. Oh, whoa, some stuff grew over here. I didn't even plant that. That's great. 
Um, did you, oh, whoa! What the hell? Where did all this come from? Well, maybe that fell this way. Maybe, like, some wind came by or something. Oh, yeah, dude, the plants are growing like crazy. Oh! Did that just shoot out a bunch of seeds? Yeah, some of these are shooting out their seeds. Huh. Um, I mean, maybe I, I mean, yeah, the plants definitely went up. I mean, I guess I could put down, like, more collectors. Uh, this seems like a pretty damn good place to put a collector, to be honest. Uh, put that down. Oh, I accidentally destroyed that. My dang, my dang. Uh, what about a research station? What would be another, I mean, this is kind of a good spot too. I don't want to destroy any though. Uh, right here is pretty good. Insufficient oh, I don't have enough. Uh, well, we'll be getting enough in a little bit. I don't know, do I want to put down? I mean, who's th who's this, uh, oh, it said there's a hundred worlds, that's right. So I'm technically going against, like, the AI and how good my world is? Go ahead and put down another research station. Alright, so we're getting .35 from that. And a pr probably much better amount over here. Uh, not, actually, not that much. Uh, maybe we need to put down a little bit more plants over here. I'm, th I'm really thinking about, I think I'm just going to like throw some stuff around, you know? Because it doesn't Real cost us anything to just throw these things around, so that's not where I wanted any of that stuff to go. At all. At all. I wanted it to go right here. I did not want it to fly like way over there on the other side of the map. At all. I think I'm going to put Orbivores down. I think that's going to be my next thing. Let's, uh, I mean, I'm not really sure. I mean, top performance targets, I still don't know. Like, I don't get this. Oh, oh I have new ones. Uh, research a thousand plant. Be the first. Research the first plant gene. Create a species of herbivores. Well, we'll do the herbivores. Like, right here. Let's see what that does. Let's look at these bad boys uh, falling down to the ground dude you guys have so much food to eat like you're it's not it's ridiculous how much food you guys are about to have all right just a ridic a ridiculous amount look at that oh they're eating holy shit they eat so much dude they're fucking annihilating everything oh no oh no that was a a lot of stuff they ate very quickly well, we'll have to see. We're on plant generation 2 and we're on herbivore generation 1. So how do I do research? Like, um, I understand, but it's saying research the first plant gene. How do I do that? Uh, first, I want to kind of uh, do a little quick save right here. Quick save. Do I need... Like, no, it's not radar, dude. That doesn't really do anything. Well, while we're here, we could upgrade stuff. Upgrade that. Make that one a little bit bigger. Uh, I can't afford to upgrade both of them, but that's uh, good enough for now. How are those Ober boys doing? Investment in research will have a oh, science unlock available. On your ability to function. When enough research is generated, you can unlock genetic engineering abilities on the science panel. These abilities can be seen on the genetics panel. On the genetics panel, uh, which is where? Over here? I mean, this is kind of like, uh, buildings, system, where's the genetic science unlock? Oh, this right here. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. I didn't realize that was something I could actually click. So, genetics, um, unlock genes using buttons on the science panel. So, I, I don't have any genes unlocked, so we're just going to unlock a plant gene. Unlock at 625. So, we've re done a total of 355 plant research. Is that what I'm getting at here? I think so. I think so. Alright, um, I'm going to start going pretty ham with the random plants. I think that's uh, a good idea. I'm just going to kind of click around, have plants really start to spread out, because I don't think there's really any ba bad reason to just grow an ass ton of plants, you know? Like, oh, I have not been, I've been clicking and not pressing spacebar. Out of range. Build more radars. Oh. 
So now I've I've reached a capacity of how far I could go, or because it was like build more radars. So if I go all the way out here, I can't build it at all, huh? All right. How the herbivores doing? There's no plants over here. Uh, let's start throwing down a lot of plants over here. <laughs> a lot, because I feel like. A lot of my plants have been getting eaten up by like a pretty large amount over here by the herbivores. It's made this research station kind of shitty. Kind of shitty, to be honest. Like, kind of really shitty. Uh, build three research stations. Yes. Yes, lots, lots of stuff. More. Just all, just go crazy with this. Oh man, uh, so I don't think we're gonna have any plant problems anytime soon after all of these. Definitely not. Lots and lots of seeds everywhere for these herbivores. It says there's only four? One of them must have died. Yeah, I'm thinking we need way more plants and herbivores, like way more, to like actually be able to sustain an, a, an herbivore uh, generation. We have, we've got the plant three generation. I still don't see a lot of variety between the plants. Like, I, I saw some before, now it's kind of like, you know, they're okay variety. Seems like these are going okay now. Um, anyways, uh, let's go over and look at our science real quick. So, science, how's this going? Um, two plant unlocks available. So, we've done quite a few, actually. Oh! I'm just hitting everything off of my desk right now, so... Continued research effort will enable us to control the genetics of organisms we instantiate. Select genes using the drop-down menu on the genetics panel. Change the value of each gene using the slider with the directional pad or cursor keys. When satisfied, create a custom species using the button on the genetics panel. We have developed force fields, which can be enabled around radars to allow you to isolate organisms as you genetically modify them. Hmm... Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we could use genetics now, so... Humans perform on average 74.9% better when competing with each other. For this reason, we have developed an anonymous leak table of our ecosystem engineers. Each night at midnight, your current world score will be updated in the league. The engineers directly above and below you in the league will be displayed. We have found not disclosing a formula which calculates the world score results in a statistically significant increase in creative thinking. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, anyways, uh, create custom plants. Out of range. Build more radars. So life expectancy... We would expectancy... like to assure you that your position in the league table will not be considered in any future performance reviews. It is simply a tool used to increase productivity and effectiveness of our employees. This concludes your orientation. Oh, so that's my tutorial there. Um, well, life expectancy, yes, increase. Max life expectancy. Uh, I want them very tall. There we go, look at that. Look at that, we're putting stuff down. Oh, I just went through like the black hole. Yeah, I want to make them really tall, so having really, them being really tall and having a long life expectancy seems like a good idea to me. I don't know, maybe a, a long life expectancy isn't as good as I think. Maybe. Maybe not. But we need a lot more seeds. These herbivores are like, not, not doing it. Definitely not. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Alright, alright, okay. Uh, let's start working on some of the other goals, which is like uh, researching science, build three research researching stations. I mean, we might as well put a researching station like I don't know. That might be a bad idea to put it like right there because these guys are eating everything. Maybe like over here isn't that bad actually. Yeah, over here is not too bad for a spot for it to be. Uh, research station. I want to get a lot, I mean, probably right... I mean, I guess we could put it here and then just grow more random plants right here, too. Um, yeah, let's just random plant it up for right here. 
Seems good, seems good, alright. Um, uh, our world score is two, though, like, that's pretty bad. We, I feel like we could do a lot better there. So, ten herbivores born in the wild. We have one, what happened to all of our herbivores? Oh, they're all dying. Um, they're just not, they're just not making it through, I guess. Uh, well, random herbivores, let's go. They are not having a, a good productive time over there with the herbivores. That's for sure. There's only one herbivore over here. Yeah, uh, let's try to help that buddy out over there, dude. He's like by himself. He's not he, not reproducing. Like, feels bad. Hopefully, I help him out a little bit there. I don't understand what this uh, what this is. Like, there's like this steam coming off of of these particular ones. This is getting fed upon. Hmm. Hmm. So we have ten herbivores. We have none born in the wild. We have no herbivore genetics at all, or generation like pr production. Like they've gone through no cycles of like reproduction, which is bad. Uh, but uh, you know that happens, I guess. Wait, are these the ones that are shorter? Why are they so short? I thought I made when I was working on the genetics. I thought I wanted them tall. Height. Value. I value their height a lot. Maybe if I lower the value of their life expectancy, they'll be taller. Like, if I value this very little, like, like I think it was set at 10,000, if I value it little, will that be better? Let's see, because yeah, th these plants that I've, I've done so far are super, super tiny. It seems yeah, like the life expectancy is way more important than the height. So far. At least that's the, that's the way it seems. I mean, we're still working a lot on genetic stuff, so we'll probably see more. Let's unlock some more plant stuff. Let's see what that gave us. That gave us absorption rate. Is it like absorption rate of the sun? I'm not. Let's bump that up like to three and see if that does anything good. Uh, how about right there? Absorption rate? We'll put a couple over here just to see what happens. Maybe that'll make them grow faster. Like they'll absorb the sun rays better. They'll have a better time. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. There's still like a lot that we need to figure out. What is this over here? I don't remember. Oh, that's uh, the, co the collectors. I don't know, man. There's still a lot we have to figure out about the game. The game is obviously brand spanking new. It came out today, actually. If you guys want to go check it out yourself or get yourself an addition just go ahead and go to the link in the description as always it's always down there as well as their twitter and usually website as well if they have one anyways i'll see you guys next time with many more uh you know intelligent design and evolutionary sandbox to come it's got a lot of stuff to figure out still a lot of things that, you know I've, I've i think i've planted genetics down pretty good pretty dang good but herbivores are not doing that well per se i don't know they're just like they're kind of just there i don't seem like i'm, I'm i seems like they just they're eating all of the food very quickly which is like not what i want them to do like this is really bad it's like stop eating all the fucking food my dude that's what they're and they're just like everywhere it's like haha food we're gonna eat it all make ourselves starve after that's why I, my first batch of herbal boys pretty much died um, off. So hopefully we we uh, we figure that out. I don't know. We'll 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 have to see. I mean, maybe maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe they'll just you know perpetually be retarded and never grow. I don't know. Uh, but you know we'll see. We'll see. I mean, they are eating life expectancy and they are growing. Um, stuff is definitely growing like off in the distance. Like that plant stuff that I planted way off into nowhere land is doing some stuff but anyways i'll see you guys next time like i said with many more intelligent design and evolutionary sandbox to come i'm sergeant kenai and i'm signing out